Tennessee lawmakers are refusing to denounce neo-Nazis. Yes, for the second time in recent weeks, a resolution denouncing neo-Nazis and white nationalist groups has died in the Tennessee General Assembly. What the hell is going on in Tennessee? Um, apparently, uh, they seem to have an issue with trying to call out and denounce neo-Nazi uh, and, and white supremacist groups. This should be the easiest thing in the world. But somehow, they just can't seem to bring themselves to do it. It's really strange. Now, the first resolution, uh, according to the Tennessean, filed by Representative John Ray Clemens, a Democrat of Nashville, uh, was killed in the House subcommittee in mid-March after Clemens failed to receive a second motion to discuss the uh, resolution. Clemens had filed it days after the deadly August 12th white nationalists unite the right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. Uh, so, look, uh, I, I remember talking about the, the uh, rally in uh, Charlottesville that led to the death of, of course, Heather Heyer, um, absolute uh, hero uh, out there protesting against white supremacy and, and, and neo-Nazism. And she was, she was murdered. She, she, was, she was run down by a car driven by one of these neo-Nazis. So why would you not denounce neo-Nazi groups when it's been shown that they are violent? Uh, now, unfortunately, like I said, the lawmakers in Tennessee, the Republicans mostly did not agree. In fact, um, now what's interesting here actually is that there was a similar measure put forward by Republicans, with one notable exception. Last week, House Republican Caucus Rep Chairman Representative Brian Williams sponsored a nearly identical version of Clemens' resolution that omitted a paragraph urging law enforcement to recognize and pursue white nationalist groups as, quote, domestic terrorist organizations. Ah, so that's the issue here. Gee, I wonder why Republicans weren't in favor of that. I, I can't quite tell. Oh, no, 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 you cannot call white nationalist groups domestic terrorists. But they engage in, some of them engage in domestic terrorism. Some of them go after people with different political ideologies. And a lot, some of them go after people simply because they're African Americans or minorities. So look, maybe that doesn't fit into domestic terrorism, I guess. But I, I see it as, look, if you have a political motive to harm people and an and ideology, and I would say that ideology of white supremacy is an ideology, and you attack somebody for being against that ideology, I, I believe that makes you a terrorist. But that's me. Uh, and so to go back to the uh, situation with Heather Heyer, I believe the person that killed her is a domestic terrorist. Uh, and look, white nationalism... Uh, is just as dangerous as other terror groups that are foreign terror groups. For example, Newsweek reported back in 2017 that white nationalist groups are at least as big as a threat as ISIS. And this is according to the FBI at the time. So uh, let me give you some more information here, some more context. Government data obtained by The Hill notes that some independent data suggests that the number of white supremacist attacks versus Islamic attacks uh, attacks could be as high as 2 to 1, including both plots and attacks carried out. Now, that would mean that white supremacist violence is actually the biggest threat to Americans. So, look, whether or not you, can, you, you call it terrorism, it is no doubt that this is absolutely a threat. Now, last year, in its May Joint Intelligence Bulletin, uh, Bulletin sorry, the Bureau warned white supremacist groups were likely to commit more violent attacks. In fact, it said, quote, the white supremacist movement likely will continue to pose a threat of lethal violence over the next year. So despite the fact that these groups are on the rise uh, and these groups are actually doing violent action, here you have Tennessee lawmakers refusing to condemn them because, oh, no, white people can't be terrorists. The only terrorists are black and brown. Uh, and we have no problem going after them. And I've got more examples of that. Um, Kentucky, back in 2011, was one of the first states to pass anti-Sharia law bills. So, so they fed into the 
to the fear of creeping Sharia. And they had to jump all over that and denounce Sharia law and all that stuff, but they can't denounce white supremacy. <laughs> Pure hypocrisy. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYTNation.